Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Chef Jen. And today I'll be showing you how I make a shepherd's pie, but how I made the recipe my own. So this is going to be a revamped shepherd's pie recipe. So for this recipe, you're going to be needing ground turkey breast, or you could use ground beef or ground chicken breast. Whichever you prefer, you're going to need sweet potato or you can use regular Irish potato. You're going to be needing some seasoning, powder seasoning. I'm using seasoning salt, garlic powder, red pepper powder, black pepper, salt, breadcrumbs, some allspice, which is grounded pimento. You're going to be needing ketchup vinegar I'm using apple cider vinegar you can use regular vinegar or white wine or red wine vinegar onion garlic um, a can of sweet corn a can of sweet peas and carrots cinnamon browning soy sauce you're gonna be needing a Pyrex dish because we're gonna put this in the oven you're going to need a pot to cook the minced meat in and you're also going to need a pot for boiling the potatoes. So first I'm going to put the water on the stove to boil for the potatoes and then I'm going to go ahead and add the meat to the pot. Add all my seasonings, powder seasoning, browning soy sauce and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I have my pot boiling for the sweet potato. So you can add some salt to the pot to add some flavor to the sweet potato. And then you peel and cut up your sweet potato in smaller pieces. And now that the water is boiling, you add the sweet potato. And then you're just going to cook the sweet potato until... It's soft when pricked with a fork. Okay, so you're just gonna cook, let that boil until it's soft when it's pricked. Now over here, I just opened the package of ground turkey and I added some fresh garlic and onion to it. Now I'm gonna add all my powdered seasoning. So I'm adding black pepper. And the, the, the stove is not on as yet. So this is before I turn it on to medium heat. I'm just going to season it in the pot. Add some seasoning salt. As much as you like. Your preference. Add some garlic powder. Add some allspice. Just a little bit. Some red pepper powder, add some browning, just a little bit to add color to the ground beef, and then some soy sauce, okay? So now that everything is in here, I'm going to break it up, break up the meat and combine everything with a fork, yeah, and then I'm going to turn on the stove to medium heat see that there medium heat and then we're gonna start cooking this so i didn't add any butter or oil to the pot i just emptied the meat in there and then add the seasoning because we're trying to cook healthy around here so go ahead and add your ketchup Apple cider vinegar to so add a ketchup. Apple cider vinegar, and uh, you could use honey or sugar, whichever you like. So I'm using apple cider vinegar, it's less potent than the white vinegar. And I just estimate everything, I don't, but you could use like two tablespoons. Of vinegar and I'm also going to add to add a little honey 
instead of sugar because as we said we're eating healthy trying to eat healthier so I add a little honey for flavor so as I said before this recipe is all about your preference in seasoning if you don't like a lot of onion you just put whatever you like if you don't like garlic you can add bell peppers if you like bell peppers your preference because you're gonna eat it right right so I'm gonna let this heat up and then I'll show you what it looks like so the meat was still looking a little too pale for me so I went ahead and added some more browning in the center there ketchup apple cider vinegar soy sauce and some Caribbean jerk marinade by masterpiece so, it's looking good and let this simmer for about 10 more minutes because you don't need to cook it for long because you're going to put it in the oven for a little bit so as soon as it starts looking like this you know it's almost ready potatoes are still boiling over there and when the potatoes are soft we're gonna take them out and mash them with some cinnamon powder just for flavor and we're gonna put the sweet potato on top of the meat inside the pyrex dish so it's like a meatloaf it's like a shepherd's pie but your own little you add whatever you like so this is a half can of the corn and the peas and the carrots and I'm gonna add this to the meat mixture before I add it to the Pyrex dish okay so this is how it looks after I add my veggies now I'm going to add a little bit of breadcrumbs less than a quarter cup about half of that amount or about two tablespoons and I'm going to mix that in so the breadcrumbs is going to soak up all of the liquid that that's in the pot just like that and as I said it's going to act as the binding agent so it's going to hold the meat and the veggies together when it's in the Pyrex dish so I have the Pyrex dish here I'm going to put this mixture into the Pyrex dish so I pour the mixture into the Pyrex dish and then I'm just going to spread it out evenly just like that and press it down because when we mash the sweet potatoes we're going to put it on top of this meat mixture so now you want to go ahead and turn on your oven to 350 degrees just like that and then I'm going to show you the mash okay so this is what the sweet potato looks like when it's finished boiling and remember that I added salt to the sea put the water for the sea potato to add flavor to it or to bring out this, the flavor so now I'm going to add some cinnamon powder and this is just for some flavor as well and now I'm going to mash it just like mashed potato and as, as I said before you can use regular Irish potato and then I'm just going to mash this together that's it you don't have to use any butter any cream anything no no none of that because we're eating healthy cooking healthy and then when I'm finished mashing it I'm just going to layer it on top of this mixture then we're going to bake it for like 15 minutes max because remember everything is cooked already we're just trying to you know get a little color on the top of these potatoes I only use one potato you can use two as many as you like right so I'm gonna show you how this looks when I put this mashed potato on top of this meat mixture okay so this is what it looks like emptied all of the sweet potato on top see and I just made designs with the fork and now I'm going to 
put it in the oven for 15 minutes and then that's it this is your revamped shepherd's pie and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out but it's not going to look anything different and then you can have this with salad because you already have meat and you have vegetables so you can add some more vegetables and have it with salad or you can add it have it with some brown rice or anything that you like but I just like this recipe I call it the revamped shepherd's pie because normally shepherd's pie have beef mixture and then like a Irish potato mashed Irish potato on top but I decided to switch it up add vegetables to the ground meat and then put sweet potato on top and I love it so I hope that you try this recipe and let me know how you like it in the comment section below and until next time see ya